the Reserve Bank of New Zealand decides what the interest rate is, or they influence what the interest rate is. Uh, retail banks don't necessarily change the interest rate up or down depending on the risk profile of their borrowers. The rate is often just the rate, and they make a credit decision independent of that. Then we have the loan to valuation ratio restrictions, LVR restrictions, which determines how much of a deposit or how much equity someone needs to be able to buy a home, whether it's their own home or an investment property. But now thirdly, we have the debt to income ratio, which is kind of like taking the third leg away from what the real retail banks used to exclusively do, where they used to assess borrowing eligibility based on income. And they're now setting a macro, like a, an, an overlay type of regulation on top of the bank's credit decisions to determine um, that at a certain point, you have to have six times or seven times your income. And that's kind of like the limit is in terms of what you can borrow. So that's been a significant kind of um, discussion probably over, over a little while, but it now appears to be coming more real. And my view is that it's not so much about the impact on the market today in New Zealand, but it's the fact that there's more of a collection or concentration of power occurring which may lead to further volatility in interest rates in the future. 